will now begin. First, a special announcement. My friends, we are around 50 people in the rendezvous, and surely many of you are experiencing lag. At this time, go to your settings and disable avatars for those that you don't know, or even everyone, except the tour guides kindly. Do that now, and you will hopefully improve the lag you are experiencing. Yeah, just lower the resolution of my visor. Don't worry. The world we're going to is optimized. But you do need to make sure that you're not lagging now. Oof. Someone has 229 ping. Jeez. Ouch. It's probably me. Mm. A lot of people here tonight. Uh, uh, everything disabled, bad. and I'm yeah. getting a sweet, sweet it's 13 nice frames. Well, it's mine. It's you. It's you. All right, yeah. Yeah. Like 30 frames. <laughs> Surely so sorry. you have done this now. I didn't know you were we'll have time, do not worry. It's, uh, it sucks. My friends, for those of you still getting low frames, don't worry. <laughs> now then. I think you're still low. It seems... You've met with an uncertain fate. You find yourselves at an interdimensional crossroads. A rendezvous of travelers wandering between worlds. We have met before in a different story. But please, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sheen. I'm a highly metastasized, infomorphic, mimetic meme complex, originating externally to your reality. I am also a tour guide of this domain. We tour guides enjoy telling stories to mortals, and thus we astral project to this rendezvous to offer stories of hope, love, and wholesome good times. My friends, we are VR travelers. We create immersive story-based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, voice acting, and wholesome team effort. We do this for fun. We do this for free. We do this for you. My friends, today is a special day. Today is the public premiere of our brand new tour. A tour unlike any other. A story tour that was put together by a team of more than just the tour guides. That's right. A grand total of ten souls worked together. I suppose it's nine, since I don't have a soul yet. But all of them worked together to create this story. Countless hours have gone into this, and this is the first time of our brand new tour arc available to the community thanks to the patreon supporters your support has allowed us to do what you are about to experience this evening i thank all of you from the bottom of my esoteric heart my friends i will now drop a portal to the world of the pilot Please make sure you're friends with someone here in case you disconnect and you need to get back in, as this will be an invite plus instance. I repeat, this will be an invite plus instance, so make sure you're friends with someone else. You're welcome to add me, Trajim, or Rendizo, the three tour guides. We will help you get back in. All right, friends. I will now drop the portal. For those of you standing in front of me, kindly move aside. If you're still in the world. That means move. Means move. Hard to seize. The desk is waiting in anticipation. Urge to listen. Ooh, Lego rising. Guy. Let's fucking go. I'm sorry, I've been blanking on. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
I turn the more often to a more optimized avatar to maybe help a little bit. Wait for it. Don't enter yet. Wait for it to stabilize. Wait for it, friends. Not yet. Oh my goodness. I'm looking my chops. It is ready. Enter the portal. Onwards, friends, to victory! I was asked something and then I said yeah. yes, and Ooh, now I'm in the credits, <laughs> basically. I tried it for a bit, but I didn't have anybody to play with. So you met Lucian, right? Get too oh. into it. Yeah. That's the weird thing about life. Don't have friends. I'm trying to be quiet, but I'm actually. I'm just doing this table for immersion. Let me see. I do it. <laughs> Jake, is that you? Hello, hello. I'm doing oh, alright. Oh, yeah. Hey, oh, yeah. I'm trying to remember. Hey, what's up, Jake? How's it going? I gotta reset my video real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, don't be daggered on the way. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna do it over. I'm gonna do it over. Here's the thing of this. There was a premiere for Splurge last night for this tour, and now everyone else is getting to see it. It's pretty fucking late. I can tell everyone's here. I can see. Oh, there's so, so many people in this server. I know two people like on my arm. I think Jay Neckle just crashed again. Fennec, are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm there. I'm, uh, I'm trying to get my internet speed to go up. There we go. Alright. Yeah, for some reason. Sorry, I was having some. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Are you getting that? Right, no. was a bunch of cooks here. Very, very hard scrotum. I can hear you. Small hard scrotum. Sounds good. I said they can't change my color, otherwise it would. You were a I told him about the screw. Nice to meet you. You got full body? Go on. What's with the mini? You won't. Why do I go fast? Inventory and keybinding. I don't know what's up with that either. I think it's a world player. Is it an echo? It's not the same bio. I freaked out for a moment. I thought you would crash because I won't see you in my social path. That's weird. I don't see it. I want to cut my feet off. Yes, but his story is new to me, so... You know, I actually do kind of have a thing here. Yes, I'm trying to solve it. This is the only optimized avatar I have. Welcome, Captain Waffle. Yeah, that's the the box, the key is Mega Man. It's just a meow. I'm gonna have you both here. It's an infinite moving square. Polymorphic. What were you? Polymorphic. You can't invite me. Which I have to get back on. I'm gonna call the lowly police. But, uh, my brain is under attack. Do not hold a shot. I can't tell you. I don't know. I'm telling my other hand, I can't hold a charge. And the aliens are saying, come inside, I'll shoot them. Yeah. 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 I don't know how. How can you make something train And I got a gun, that which is my favorite thing. What? Let's go to a run. Pew pew, motherfuckers. How do I know VRT? I think Star Alex was kind of thing. I think they were somewhere in it. My friends. Break my legs. My friends, your attention, please, travelers. Gather around. Thank you so much for joining tonight. You have no idea how much, how much this means. My friends, I've already gone through the intro, so let's get to some technical things that you need to know. The music in this story tour is extremely important, and based on the testing we've done in the last few days, we suggest that you turn your world music up higher than you normally do. If, during the tour, you feel the world music setting is too high, you're welcome to lower it. But, please go ahead and put it a little higher than you usually do at this time. What if you usually have everything at 100%? <laughs> then you lower it and it's too ladder. loud to you. Then you'll well, forever. good luck. <laughs> Turn your master by your mouth. I want All the way. Then you'll live forever. Ooh, that sounds like a threat. I'm gonna put it up to... Uh, what? That usually makes everything more... Just as more as long as it's on copyright. My friends, I put it there. I'm gonna go into my this world, and I'm gonna be This is a story-based tour. And as with any tour in the real world, 
we kindly ask that you remain silent during narration. However, it is absolutely imperative that you talk while we walk, as working together is the only way to the truth. Remember those words in the most sacred places of your heart. My friends, don't be shy. Talk with those around you. Make new friends. And above uh, all, uh, have fun. You're my friend, right? Mm hmm. No. They will come to your rescue. Ah, well, you're gonna I shake my hand, you. that's what you'll do. Need to... Now then, <laughs> the <pleasure>. my friend, <laughs> damn me up. I cook. Enough talk. <laughs> it is time for the pilot to fly, and it is time for this story to finally see. The light of day, my friends. <laughs> click the yellow save point behind me. Oh, nice. oh. oh this is nice. a world. It's oh, this is awesome. I actually like the library. Yeah, this is pretty cute. Well, this is oh, cute. Maybe my third or fourth to my very I think I'm gonna you? Oh, I've been a part of this for a while. Hello, Really? My friend. Oh, damn, you show me where you found her. Where was the word? I'm gonna do yeah. I'm gonna follow you behind. Once again, make sure you can clearly hear the music. To where it's not loud, but almost. Take it in, enjoy it. Immerse yourself and prepare. the forest and the countryside. There sits a lone house, and in this house is a young girl. Every evening, she looks out her bedroom window and her imagination soars. She wonders about the far away, exotic places her father always tells her about. She closes her eyes, and she can see them. Beautiful cities filled with waterfalls and white birds. Majestic. Filled with waterfalls and mountains capped by clouds so soft one could fall asleep on them. She wonders and she wonders until the sun sets and the crickets fill the air. In her mind, she pictures something else. She pictures her father finally coming home. She hopes for it with all her heart. It's going to be tonight. She knows it is. Her heart flutters as she opens her eyes expectantly. The sky is purple, and the path outside is empty. She was wrong. He hasn't come home. She shoves the curtains across and turns from the window. My friends, let's go inside and see if she's all right. This way. <laughs> the clouds are animated. That's new. I gently let's open go. the door. <laughs> okay, yes. going inside. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Who said that? There's all good vibes. Where do we all go? Yeah. Don't be shy, yeah, cause you upgrade each other. It's so good. See, see, 
Yes. Our cam review is this way, not wall. that way. Yeah. This is the fourth wall. Yeah, our cam review is I am supposed in to the jar. Mm. Where's the camera? Uh, the young <laughs> girl. Camera. <laughs> My friends. I'm wearing armor. The young girl mm -hmm. trudges through the dark house. The kitchen is empty. Her mother has forgotten to cook again. The girl grabs an apple from the table, pulls up a chair, and eats alone. She closes her eyes again, wanting to go to another place. The image slowly forms in her mind. Wisp of mist rushing by. The gentle rush of cool air in her ears. The deep thrum as she passes through clouds. The land far below her. Everything cast in a radiant golden light. Then, the sky knocks. No, it's not the sky. She opens her eyes. Could it be? The chair clatters to the ground as she runs toward the front door. She can't contain her excitement. There he is. Her father is finally home. She lets out a cry of joy and a bit of sadness. Her father picks her up and holds her tightly. Is Mama... Is Mama still sleeping by the radar? Papa's voice is deep and comforting, like the cloud she flew through. Only when you're gone so long. Her mother's voice drifts in, warming the room. She joins them in a tight embrace. I'll always come back, he says. He takes out a sealed bottle from his jacket and hands it to the mother. He apologizes for only being able to get enough for ten months. He seems really sad about it. Don't worry, the mother says. I'll manage. I always have. And soon... The house is filled with the warm glow from the fire, the sounds of laughter, the smell of a roast, and a little girl could not possibly be more happy. After dinner, the girl asks her father for another story about the pilot. He looks at her as a smile slowly spreads across his face. <laughs> My friends, let's all go together and listen to the father's story. This way. Uh, I gotta get up. Mm. Uh, don't get old. <laughs> Someone just say don't get old? How the fuck do you not <laughs> That is a very wide looking Jeez. flower. <laughs> Form, but still, brother. No, your your brother left you a long time ago. Luna, are you okay, buddy? Why is that companion? Luna, are you sick? Um, yeah, hey, you got me, you fellow robot. Your distant cousin twice removed. Be. Oh, hey, Nick dinner, we eat apple. Eat Oh, that music. Quick stick. The young girl jumps into bed, and the father and wonders and mother sit either side of her. The father tells another story about his daughter's favorite hero, the pilot. Each time the father would revisit this story, the pilot would be on a new adventure. But each time, a few themes remain the same. The pilot flies to new worlds with his legendary ship. And wherever he goes, she meets new friends who need her help. The odds would be stacked against her. But thanks to her trusty legendary ship, she always saves the day. The girl remains awake till the very end. And then the father asks, as he does at the end of every story, so why do you think the pilot helps people? 
The young girl squeezes her bunny doll and cheers. Because it's the good thing to do. The mother and father look at one another, smile, and then laugh. The daughter doesn't know what happened, but she laughs with them anyway. As her parents leave the room, the girl asks to leave the room. When she grows up, she can fly to other worlds to help people like the pilot does. Of course, the father says, you'll be the greatest pilot, and someday you will save the day too. The mother looks out the window. They tuck her in. The father turns off the light, and they leave the door ajar for their daughter. Let's go back downstairs and let her sleep. This way. So can't get over how big those shoes are. Sad. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm gonna sit on the tree. My tree. Is that a rat? Oh, it's Lucian. I am, in oh. fact, a rat. <laughs> oh, it's Lucian. God. It's just for oh, Lucian. Rat a rat. It's a Lucian. Grab your Pokeballs quick. Oh, jeez. It's even oh, shiny. Oh, it's a rat. That's not a Pokeball. Let me catch it. Aw, <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. This thing. Yeah, I don't know what we're doing. It. This is my tenth time doing it. I know what's up. <laughs> It's kind of oh, funny to see my person here that they actually call a, I'm Rat. I'm Rat. One less friend. <laughs> right there. My friends. Lucian, you're adorable right the story continues. As the night gets dark. The mother and father sit together in the living room. She asks him if he did what he set out to do and if he was tracked. He says the same thing he always says. Of course not. He was careful. He starts talking about being able to get away with unregistered flights and is about to go on into the tendency of military officers to turn a blind eye to a certain amount of excess cargo when she stops him with a finger on the mouth lips. She reminds him that she knows all this already. He laughs and gets one more detail in. She will always know when anything is approaching thanks to the military radar he stole. If a military vessel gets near, it will notify her. She nods. She knows this already as well. But they both decide that it's a topic for another time. Her husband is home again, and she misses him dearly. And so they go to bed. <laughs> the mother is woken suddenly. It's the father. He's talking about something on the radar, headed for the refugee camp. She rubs her eyes, confused. I have to go, says the father. I have to get them out. She doesn't understand. She pleads for him not to leave again, still not sure what exactly is happening. She suggests that it's just a scout, or an error, or something else unimportant. No, the father says and his voice frightens her. Look at the radar. The mother looks, and her heart drops. The signal is enormous, and it is headed directly for the rebel camp, off the radar's edge. 
That's... She begins, but her voice falters. Yes, says the father. The Dark Monument. Last time it was deployed, it laid waste to everything from Eternic to the Aquavi Islands. The death toll was in the millions. Fire fell from the skies for weeks after, and to this day nothing grows there. Hidden forest camps, underground bases, networks under towns, it, doesn't, it does not matter. Nobody is safe from this thing. Sending it there could only mean... He doesn't finish. He doesn't need to. I'll join you, the mother says. I was an engineer in the military. I can help. You were, until they discharged you for your condition. He takes hold of her shoulders and looks her in the eyes. The moonlight from the outside dims and the room goes dark. I need you to stay here. Protect our daughter. The Grey Soldiers will easily detect her potential. They'll take her away from us. We can't let our daughter become another weapon for them. The mother feels as though she is in a nightmare. Can't you contact the Ethos Coalition for help? The Coalition's resistance ships won't make it in time. I can outrun that abomination. I smuggled them into the camp in the first place, so it's up to me to get them out of there. I'm their only hope. His hands slide down her arms as he takes hold of her fingers. She's trembling. I was the same as them. A refugee on the run. Remember? And then you rescued me. I have to return the favor. It's... It's the good thing to do. Reluctantly, she nods. He kisses her and rushes out into the night with his things. The house is cold and dark once more. And the mother and daughter are left alone. A year has passed. The father has not returned. And the daughter has just turned six years old. The mother lost contact with the Ethos Coalition months ago. However, every night she waits. Every night she turns on the radar, sits in the chair, and stares at the night sky. Tonight, her daughter is with her, and together they watch, wondering if the moon is going to reappear. The silence is broken by the daughter. Mama, are you going to listen to the radar all night again? The mother doesn't answer. Daddy said it's bad for your heart to stay up. The mother looks down at her daughter, smiles, turns off the radar, holds her for a while, and then puts her to bed. She promises that she will sleep on time and closes the door. The mother goes back to the radar and turns it on. She listens with her head in her arms. She listens until sleep takes her. A loud voice screeches. Attention, attention. This area is under martial law by order of the Grey City. Surrender all ether users immediately or face execution. She changes through channels, 
but it's everywhere. She presses her hands against her ears, but the voice fills her mind. Then she looks at the radar, and she sees it. It's already over the forest. The cursed ship is here. But why? No, she doesn't have time to think. They have to escape. The mother rushes upstairs, wakes her daughter, and dresses her. The daughter only has time to grab her bunny doll before a banging sound echoes from the ground floor. The sound of splintering wood terrifies them both. They run toward the outside balcony on the second floor. Quickly, my friends, this way. Oh, grab her. These are users. Okay, I'm impressed. Oh, users. users. Let's turn. dance the oh, dinosaur. Hey, everybody, open the door. Let's get on the. Don't oh, worry. Oh not. my goodness. Don't shoot down. We have to jump over. Shoot down. Don't this <laughs> slowly falling. Oh, oh, like oh, 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 falling like a sheet of paper. Come on, come on. Oh, jump. Come on. I'll catch you. I'll catch you. I promise. I'll catch you. I'll catch you. I'll catch you. Come on. I promise. No, he won't. He's lying. He's he won't. He's lying. What? No, I'm not lying. Murph, shut up. Come on, jump. I'll catch you. I'll catch you. My friends, gather around. My friends, gather around. Who are they? cries the girl. Mama, I'm scared. The mother holds her daughter tight and jumps from the balcony. She hits the ground hard, landing on her side. A sharp pain shoots through her now broken rib, but her daughter is safe. And that's all that matters. She stands and looks around. The forest is on fire. They must be trying to prevent them from hiding. She looks around and she sees areas where the fire hasn't reached yet. It's the only way. My friends, Run with me. I'll keep you company. Oh, you can see the ship yeah, in the zoom. background, lads. Oh, God. I'm the gun. No, I do not like this. This ow. plane does not feel ow. safe. Ow. Please. Ow. Ow. Good thing I got a couple oh, of Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, speciality. Go uh, don't touch the charcoal. Don't go, yet. don't go in yet. Don't go in yet. I'm not don't trying to shoot you. Don't go in yet. Don't go in yet. Don't fall off edge you. Defend the rear guard. I worship. Gather around. Oh. Here's the dark monument. She struggles to run. Her daughter is heavy. She glances over her shoulder. Dark figures are circling the house, peering through the clouds of smoke. Then the mother looks up, and she sees it. A horrifying shape eclipses the moon. Its silhouette drops a blanket of shadow, moving slowly, smothering the land below in darkness. And it's creeping unstoppably toward them. She places her daughter on her feet and kneels to look her in the eyes. Mama is going to run, and you must run too. She barely manages to get her words out. You must not let go of my hand. Do you understand? Do not let go. Is, is that a monster? The daughter stammers with eyes welling up. No, don't look at it, the mother cries. Take my hand and don't let go. One of the soldiers yells in the distance. The mother grips her daughter's hand tight and they run. The mother's heart is racing. The fire is unbearably hot and the smoke scrapes in her throat. My friends, the mother and daughter have been spotted and are now being pursued by the Dark Monument. 
together, they must find a way through the burning forest. And so must all of you, as this is your first quest. Listen carefully. Once you click the yellow save point, run as fast as you can for the exit. You must run for your lives. You must run for their lives. My friends, go now. You ready for this? I can. Oh, I don't... Be careful, of guard. Time to fall. Don't be left again, Falcon. Oh. How are you? Oh. <laughs> Watch out for the cones, y'all. Okay. So uh, don't touch you can the touch flames. the fire. Just don't touch the their vision. Don't get in their sights. Oh, don't touch the troops. I. Oh. No. Start the big. Wait. Oh. Come on. Cursed trees. Did not <laughs> What's hitting me? The view of the, the soldiers. Secret route. Hmm. Yeah, no, seriously. Have you ever... Oh! Oh, the cones, the cones, I'm seeing them now. Oh. There's big. I... Don't run into the big red cone. No, it's fire. Like that one. This is my fourth time trying to do this. What the uh... heck? Huh. Okay, uh, what's the path? I can't find the path. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna follow you and then. I don't know what to do. Well, I can't see any cones, so I'm just in a loop the whole time. I don't know. Yep, I'm looping. Can't find it. Okay, Jim, help me. <laughs> yeah, I don't see any code. Well, Lompey, so... do you realize what's happening? <laughs> nope. Uh -oh. Do you see the last sights it. of the soldiers? In front of me. Nope, I don't see anything. I can't. I can't see the cones. Me neither. I'm just gonna keep on looping oh, it until cones. I can't, you know. See these things. How am I supposed to get through? I can't see these things. Me I neither. Don't... <laughs> Metal gent, come here. Are you having trouble seeing the cones? Yes, I, don't I am. Yes. The cones. Like I see the cones Do you see this soldier here in front of me? Yes. Do you see, spreading out to the left, a cone, three dimensional, nope. very transparent, nope. slowly Barely. sweeping left and right. Barely. Yeah, it's somewhat blending in with the flames. I don't see it. Take your time. Don't okay. rush. And if you're very much struggling, wait with me here, and I'll help you through at the end. 
All right, thank you. <laughs> I'm probably need help. Um, okay, I'm gonna try. I mean, what the fuck? Wait, I didn't even hear myself get hit. Hmm. Um... Yeah, I give up. I give up. That's all right. Wait here with me, friends. We'll take everyone mm -hmm. through. Once we make sure that people have cleared the first section of the fire forest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love you so embarrassed. No, that's all right. This is the first time it has publicly been tested. Um, this I is mean, all valuable feedback for us to improve the world. The first time I did it, I mean, I, I went, like, so much further. It sounds like you did quite well. But that's all right. Yeah, I did. I did. Well, it seems people have cleared the first fire forest, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just have a mm -hmm. quick look. I see one more person trying. Ten Z eight. Hmm? Would you like assistance getting through here? As these two would. Uh, I can help sure. you get through to the end. Or you can continue your attempts. I am here to help you either way. Hmm. Well, the point he keeps getting caught on is right at the very end point where you have just all the soldiers lined up. And it just forces you straight into their sight and the collision with all the wall. I see. And perhaps there is another way. Mm -hmm. I will stay here for a few more minutes in case you change your mind. I'll be taking these two past this building. Lombi, if you would like to skip this scene, you need to bring up the world menu. To do so, take your hand above your head and press your menu button. Menu? Oh, there you go. I see. Mm -hmm. And then what? Navigate to the fast travel menu and click on Rainy Forest. The group will be waiting there. You mean, you mean Rainy Camp? Rainy Camp, yeah. that's the one. Hey boys, good work. I wish I would even do it in the flying every time. I'm not even kidding. I don't do that one. I don't do that one. I think that's it. I did it. I almost made Brandy because I decided screw it. I don't want to fly Avatar. I saw that, you cheater. Yeah, I did. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm gonna make your screen face blue screen. <laughs> I think that I didn't. I didn't manage to finish. I, I hope it isn't against the rules. I hope it isn't like in 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 tiny print somewhere I can see. I'm in charge of sound. But I already get in with the hard. You get through the bird. I get the social. Well, I mean, uh. I think that the Trajan was staying at the beginning of it, just in case the people are having a hard time. I'm too sure. He's gonna be a nice guy and be like the super guy from New Super Mario Bros. U. It's him with an Obu face, I believe. You had to go cheat. We call him Shinkai. I am better. Mm. You can turn that smile I'm guessing Frannigan's trying to wait back. 
I jumped to my screens. He's in the map right now. Being very angry. I punched it so hard. I'm just missing that. I see the video. I see Big Mirror for 1080. This is. Okay, I'm gonna do it. He just needs a soul. He's fine. I'm just gonna do it. How do you with him? Did you burn your hoodie? I'm gonna have my hoodie. Hold on. Gotta take my hoodie off. Ah, uh, burning up. I can. Patches like that. Yeah. Hmm. I okay. teleported. Hold on, let me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Here, here, here. Uh, let's reason. get rid of. Oh, on my, on my jacket. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, there are like two million people uh, struggling with me. Hmm. Having a bit of trouble, it looks like. Come on, dude, you've got this. Okay, well, we know. It's here. Just wait. My friends, your attention, please. You know what ten is My friend. Did you notice every chance I get? We have just another 30 seconds or so. Apologies for the wait. This is the first time we've run this tour. So, everyone's in surprise. Sorry. Everyone's getting used to it, to be sure. I love your jacket. Please, I beg your patience. This will be faster in the future. Just give us a few more moments. It's all so bad. It's all right. It won't hurt my feelings. Ah, there's no I need to break it. You're giving us a great time, chill, and make friends. Well, wait, wait. I'm just going to help optimize your circuits there, buddy. Classic tunes. Why don't you connect that red wire with that green wire right there? That should probably fix it. Okay, I'll try. Ow! Okay, what did that do? All it did was zap my hands. Friends, it is time. We are ready. They could have done a reset on him. Oh, so so travelers. Dearest travelers. I don't want to do too big of a reset on this guy. Dearest cool. Let me see you travelers. <laughs> My friends, we have made it somehow. Please, walk this way. Walk this way. Uh, you had the exact same oh, as I had. Rip Sheen. Rip Sheen, boo boo. <laughs> It'd be funny for Sheen to hum the music while we go. Uh, camp. Or we take a left. I want to take a right. Oh, Does Sheen no. ever hum? Sheen hums before. I'm going to play some rest. A little tank right here? What's up? Mm, it's ah, uh, yes, up. finally. Alright, Lucian, again. finally. Yeah. Finally. Oh, you have the yeah. water sign down here, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh. Only had a fishing rod. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure the key blade will work. What? It's like a thin layer of ice. The story <laughs> continues. I did have to reject it for you with her on that last section. I saw it. <laughs> the mother and daughter stagger into a secluded clearing. Nearby is a tent. An old campfire and a pond. Raindrops pat against the canvas, the leaves of the trees, and the water's surface. The ground squelches beneath every footstep. The rain is cold, but the chill soothes the mother's burns. They won't have to worry about the fire spreading this far. The mother speaks words of comfort to her wailing child inside the tent, cradling her in her arms. The traumatized girl grips her bunny and buries her face into the mother. The rain masks her tears, 
and she soon sleeps. The mother, however, does not, and keeps watch all through the stormy night. When the last of the daughter's sniffles subside, she begins to dream of a faraway place, a dark place. She descends into a nightmare. My friends, please use the blue save point. Here oh, here we go again. Uh oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. Welcome to hell, ladies and gentlemen. So we're in black space. Oh, we're in limbo. Oh, oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. We got sent to the show. Good luck, everyone. Oh, we're I didn't we're know. Oh, we oh, have oh, a nightmare. Oh, this, oh. Is, this is scary. Don't lie to. Good luck cool. escaping, you people. This clearly helps. My problem is way darker than this show. I don't understand why you're in black space. Please come forward and change your avatar. My friends, can everyone see Trajim and Rendizo standing next to me? I don't see Rendizo. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't see Rendizo there. You might not be here, but I do see Trajim. Oh no, it's the block I can see Trajim. I do. The blocky bugger. See, I My friends, Rendizo is on his way here. Kindly wait okay. a few seconds. Mm -hmm. I can't wait any longer. Oh, my, my VR is kind of fucking up. Every time camera looks yeah, so cool. I need some partners. <laughs> no. Every time I, I go through the camera, it's looking. Okay, so I got a green wire with the red wire. <laughs> this turns out to be a red wire. I do something lucky. Okay, Jimmy! What the fuck? Hey, focus it. Focus it. Focus it. Okay, so don't touch the blue one. That was good. I see this blue one. What is this? That was good. My friends, I had to connect him. I am. No, it's mine. Rendizo oh. and Trajim, now change into your Dream Eater flashlight avatars. Ah. At this time, all of you make sure that you can see them. Rendizo and Trajim are playing tonight's NPCs. Both of you, please. Turn on your flashlights and take your place in the nightmare. Here we go again. It's their kind of performance block. Mm -hmm. My friends, so... a figure is suddenly aware of their surroundings. The walls are cold and slick, the floor is a solid void and the air shimmers with a shadowy haze. Where am I? Who am I? The unknown figure looks about, barely able to see anything. <laughs> what am I doing here? I was searching for something. Perhaps there are voices audible in the distance, echoing and distorted. It doesn't sound human, and it's drawing closer. The figure realizes they can't stay here. They have to move. Whatever those voices are coming from, it feels malicious. The figure in this nightmare must find what they are searching for, and so must all of you. As this is your next quest, listen carefully. Search for a way through the darkness to the exit, and avoid the monsters at all cost. Getting caught in their cone of light will fracture the young girl's hope. My friends, if you are caught, everyone will hear thunder crash. Keep moving, even if you're caught, and do not stop. Through the dark, she dreams for you. And your quest begins now. Go. Let's go. Chaos. Here we go. Begin. Didn't go. Oh, no. Thank you, whoever made this map, for making it taller. You are the most amazing person. Uh, we're going right. Yeah. Oh, we're going right. We're going right. Well, yeah.
I'm scared. You shouldn't be. I saw it, lads. I saw it, lads. Guy. Yes! An invisible is just cut you straight through. Hey, bro, I, I wanted to ask you something, bro. Why do they it so that is there any more the avatars that you did like this? Like that, I don't know. You know, you can let me copy. Is this shit wow. not bad? Yeah. People getting struck by a fucking oh, lightning. My friend made a world like, <laughs> like <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't look at the ceiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The arrow was on the ceiling. Oh my ceiling. Do you my social tab? <laughs> like we're not just a group of friends. Bro, ceiling. Do you my social tab? Like we're not just a group of friends. Bro, ceiling. Do you my social tab? Like we're not just a group of friends. That's what Lando has done. Like, if I don't know if you notice, but like, the feet are going. No, you just keep going. Oh, okay. Yeah. Pretty. That would be funny to know. I think there was like a lot. Yeah, two or three. This is a lot. Like, how many people are going to This is a lot. This is going to change a lot, I think. I'm excited. I think we're really close. We were really close to the good ending last night. But like, different items, I guess. Which tour? Maybe. Agent? Oh, oh, secrets, my friend. I cannot really speak, speak any further. I cannot speak any further. Uh, I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to spoil it for you. That's why. All right. I want you to experience it for yourself. I think I know a good combo, but I'm gonna play it out. How's it going? I got jump scared because I, I walked backwards to avoid Trajan, and then I turned around and Ren Diesel's light was on me. Oh, oh. No. I don't know. I'm great. It's like kind of guess. I'll it back, there we go. Much better. No, you're oh, getting stuck. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, hold up. Look good. Usual. Oh, 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 shit. I can do a handstand. Okay. I still need a fix. I, I still need a, I still, I still need a fix. This. Wait, you want me to do a handstand? Do a handstand. Thunder crashing means that Just try not to break your headset. Wait, okay. RP. Ready? Two. Yo! How do you do that? That's a lot of people. Very careful. Oh, yeah. 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 I still need a fix. Things are going to change. Shit. Oh. I'm going to go guide the others out. I like how the, the wallpaper is being made. I'm going to the nightmare. Yeah. I repeat, stay here, please. Uh, made it. Do not go back to the nightmare. Yeah, bro, man. No, I'm good. Yeah. How you doing, Lucian?
Okay. Yeah, I think he needs a body. Okay. I can't do anything about the soul me... hurt, but... Eh. Yeah. You sure you're good? That looks like a uh, well, Lucy yellow wire like, right there. Not be shorts, okay? Yeah. Oh, I have an hmm. avatar cloning on? Oops. You know what I should yeah, do? Yeah, I, I stole like hey, one hey, avatar, hey, which was the slime I one. I trust you with the creature. Which was the sky. I dare you. You could send it. The tree gym is angry. Any loose wire. He's angry. No. No. He's in his angry. Maybe if I put this loose, this yellow wire with this white one, let's see what happens. What just initiated? Nice body. He's angry, so you gotta get him up. Of course. I learned a secret. Follow the red arrows. Oh, yeah. They actually do lead to the thing. He has to pick one. Okay. okay. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, no, I think I'm gonna get it. Oh, no, I think I'm just gonna reset his memories. No, don't don't cut. Yeah. There's no wire cutting. Oh, you're gonna do the classic kick until it fixes itself. He's angry. He's you know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Dang, Zen, you're working out. My friends. My friends, your attention, please. The story continues. My friends, your attention, please. The story continues. Around the campfire. Dearest friends, the story continues. Don't worry. We're going to apply fixes and make this go faster next time. The girl wakes herself up. Screaming in the dark of night. Her eyes filled with tears as she frantically calls for her mother. Quickly, she comes to comfort her terrified child. The daughter begins describing a dark place with monsters. But she struggles to speak through her trembling. The mother rocks her in her arms, telling her it was just a nightmare. Not to worry. The daughter tries to go on about how the person in her nightmare was searching for something, but her voice is shaking too much. The mother interrupts, telling her it was not real. She's safe now, and they both need to get ready for the day's travels. Together, they sit rocking for a while as the rain dies down, revealing a morning sun shining like a golden orb between the parting storm clouds. The mother thinks to herself that the town of Shade has always been a place rebel supplies move through. She should be able to find something on the location of the Ethos Coalition. The mother checks the sky. Clear for now. My friends, this way. Uh, Trajan. I get the feeling we are not no, getting not a bad. good ending. <laughs> uh, we'll try harder next time, lads. <laughs> we are not getting a good ending. Oh, there's safe points. There are some mini paths uh, oh. we could have chose. Oh, yeah, that's going to be obviously an ambush. We'll see, we'll see. I'm hearing thunder outside the nightmare. Anyone else? Aye. Maybe uh, it's the thunderclouds. Uh, Maybe I'm going thunder. crazy. Maybe it's just thunderclouds that make thunder. I think it's thunderclouds now. Oh, I switched to Tolerance. Fucking gorgeous. This place seems familiar. I thought this was fucking Five Nights at Freddy's music. Jeez. <laughs> Five Nights oh, at Freddy's. My friends <laughs> gather around. So that man's on top of the damn building! What's up, what's up bro? He's flying! He's gone! Hey, what the? Yo, what's up, bro? Some of you may die. <laughs> He's the king! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lord Park. Thank you. It's a hotel. You put the gun down. My friends, <laughs> listen carefully. 
The town of Shade is a small, busy, unfriendly place. The people here don't smile or greet each other as they pass. Just like me. The mother and daughter feel unwelcome in such a place. The mother doesn't know who to trust or who is loyal to the Grey City. First, she needs to find a safe place for them to get some proper rest. The mother books are to find a safe room, which the innkeeper says will be ready a little later. She checks the sky, then tells her daughter that they should gather supplies while they wait, as they likely have a long way to go tomorrow. My friends, this is your next quest. Listen carefully. All of you must explore this town of Shade. Scattered around are various supplies and clues the mother and daughter need. If you find an interesting looking item, please click it. It will appear in your tab key inventory once you do. You have five minutes to search. Please return here in front of the indoor before five minutes is up. Do Yo, okay, not five minutes. Be late. Whoa. The sky All right, track is girl, let's go. clear. I'll just show you quest begins. Uh, tap key inventory, what does that mean? You had a second, secondary inventory that you had to show up. I think it's coded into the world to carry things in. Hmm. Blueberry, blueberry. Cool. A sword, a sword. I need a sword. Give me a sword. Give me a sword. The talisman. I need sword. I need no sword. Find something. No sword here. here. Up. No sword. Oh, I found something. Confused dagger. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh shit, I saw something. <laughs> Too short I'm for this. Okay. No, I can keep you. <clears throat> bro, I don't know what that is, but I'm taking that shit, bro. <laughs> Aha, something else. Oh, wine, bro? Hell yeah, dog. Medic bag. So we're done it. Hmm. Have some pants. Do we do those? Do we need a rock? There's a sword over here. Five items? Wasn't it?
Was it was it five items? Here's your Fresh hells are you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, med healing, healing. What else? What else? What else? What else? Yep. What Gonna need what else? those. <laughs> Something tells me these items are local on oh, remake. Uh... As many as you can. Out of something. Hello. Now think. Yeah. Right. What it do, Jay? What it do, Jay? It do. It do. It do. It do. Where's the dagger? Where's the dagger? Do you mind moving for just a second to yes, sir. your? Yes, sir. Oh, that works. No problem. Oh, no, I'm stuck. Oh. Sumo chaos. Uh, how do you check if you're in VR? Your hand over your oh, good, good question. Yeah, you jump. Oh, as if for me, there's a menu button on my head. Oh, I got 21 this time. I got 17 <laughs> items. Damn it, you got one. Wait, how do you pick your... I got 21. I'm missing. I'm missing. I know you're... People in VR. Hold... I got 17 Hold your right hand, but I got a shield in VR. I'm not going to Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. No. What was it? Wait, I'm gonna be There's only twenty items. No, there's more than twenty items. Yeah, there's way more than twenty. Someone got twenty-five. Someone got twenty-three. Whatever you can. Twenty-three. What are we talking 11? about? Power crisis. <sighs> We're talking about. I found oh, the item. I found. I have There's also a red thing, treasure map, and rats. That's something. I think. I think that's something. The the treasure map is gonna be something for the library. She. Uh, who are you talking to? Head of staff. You know, I'll shopkeeper. Uh, Luna. Yes. Hello. Uh, Luna, block Whatever me we and do, we need. Uh, hold on, real quick. Block, block coffee and unblock him because he can't see you. No, that probably wouldn't have helped. What a boss, but it wouldn't help anything. Oh, I can't see coffee. Right. I didn't know you were here. Wait, coffee? Alright, if you oh, can see our bitch right here. Oh, coffee, can you see Falcon? <laughs> I can't see coffee. I didn't think they were here. Falcon should be right here, coffee. Yeah, right there. Oh, it's the block bug. I cannot. Did he block bug? No, 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 it's the block bug. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'll take the lead on this one again. Wait, what? I'm my, so confused. My friends, time has expired. I mean, Please. Like a rat, you know? I well like done. Loosely, like Hopefully, an you all found what the mother and daughter need. The uh, innkeeper tells them I mean, the room is ready. Menace. My friends, this way. Okay, wait, hang on.
You know? I just thought the end could have held the item. I'm the really small, small the and I can still see Don't everything. Mind that the door I... opens the wrong way. <laughs> and... I will eat these curtains. I didn't think that there would be items in the hotel. I feel stupid. Ah, uh, this place is kind of a mess. There's room for more. Are there sleepers? My friends. My friends, travelers. The two make their way up to the prepared bedroom and begin settling in. It's quiet inside the inn. Clouds have gathered outside once again, casting the small space in a dull gray light. Finally, they can rest. The daughter is helping her mother sort the items they gathered today. She wants to help by carrying a few of them in her own little bag, but is unsure which items to choose. My friends, listen carefully. Press the tab key in your inventory. If you're in VR, hold your right hand above eye level and press the menu or jump button to see your inventory. All of you have five minutes to discuss and decide as a group which three items the daughter will carry for her mother. Your time begins now. Heart Heart Everyone Dagger. listen up. Everyone Heart listen up. We gotta oh, do this Pilot all together or it's not gonna work very well at all. So everyone, the let's stay coordinated and we can figure this out together. Heart all right? Heart Heart medicine. Medicine so everyone, what he said. everyone, 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 let's, let's make sure we go one at a time so that no one speaks over. Everyone is gonna, I'm gonna go through one person at a time. We're gonna pick the item we found that we think is the most important and go from there at the end. All right, so I'm just gonna go randomly and then we're gonna go through that all right Bad. sumo most important item you think you found what the uh dream egg okay falcon most important item you think you found uh it's gonna be the dagger okay j monkey most important item you think you found the time egg j neko most important item you think you found Dragon egg. Can we come back to you? Yeah, they we said dragon egg. Sure. Is anybody okay. ready to get down? Lucian. Oh, Lucian, most important item you think you found? Time egg. Bumbles, most important item you think you found? Something called a rememberizer. Ooh, good one. That's interesting. Luna, most so important item you think you found? Yeah. The infused <laughs> dagger. Hmm. Uh, Europa, the most important item you think you found? Confused dagger, big time. Three. Black dagger, most important item you think you found? I hope it's the dagger. That'd be yeah, funny. I, need a shield too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, can. I think he crashed. <laughs> oh, no, he's, no, he's still breathing, yeah. Yeah, he's we'll, breathing. We'll come back to him, we'll come back. Yeah. Uh, Shadow Key, most important item you think you found? Heart medicine. Mm. Tervings, most important item you think you found? Um, I think... I would say... <laughs> Holy <laughs> Shield. <laughs> That's, I agree. Holy, Holy Shield. I agree with Holy, Holy Shield. shield. Nice. Yeah. Alazu, most important item you think you found? Deciding it's not Class X Menesthetic. Yeah, well, <laughs> oh, shit, okay. Metal Gen, most important item you think you found? Ether Veiler. Ooh. L Man. Um, I think I got like, like multiple mm -hmm. important items. One of, I do have a pain medicine. We could give a healing item to the. You know, as one of them. That's true. For the That's girl. The girl yeah, definitely so. needs a healing item. At least one of them has to be a healing mm -hmm. item. Coffee. I also have a holy shield. Uh, shield and holy dagger. shield. Grunt. It's also the pilot's promise. Grant a three, three. 
What? The really? burn cream. Yeah, I have Holy to make First aid burn cream. Think about it. Back they level. talked about them being able Same. to sense her daughter in Ether Veiler. Hide her. Cell? So? Sorry, I just crashed. Uh, I don't have so? my inventory got cleared. Uh, oh. Okay, uh, yeah, Ragnaros. Uh, I would have to go with the heart medicine. Julius? Well, I got Astral Amulet. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. Mm. Ipone? I'm thinking the Ether Veil. We're trying to get trying to get covert in here. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Mm. One See, minute geez. remaining. Uh, One minute oh, remaining. Coalition Six info right? number two. Oh, <laughs> okay. I do remember. I would say we needed that that ether infused dagger or whatever it was. We need that dagger. Okay. Okay. That's what I say. I would say we definitely I mean, need to give her at least. One healing item, so we should decide out of I the think, healing items we have. Heart medicine. Heart medicine. Heart medicine. Heart medicine. Let's sign it, Sonic on, Speed. Hold on, hold on. No, I'm gonna test what? So those, for those oh. of us who think we heart. should have one healing oh. item, one defense item, and one attack item, raise your hand if you can. <laughs> Hey, if you if you if you're in desktop mode, so if you're in jump. desktop mode, then just say yeah, yeah, like or jump is... or jump. Uh, just, just jump. There you go. Jump. Hey. I think this is majority. I think we're unanimous. So, we're unanimous. Yeah. Majority. Yeah. so <laughs> that's who. Okay. So in that case, and heart medicine? I think I know. Know. is everyone under the under the agreement through Valor to hide her. Is everyone under the agreement of useful items? Cough medicine, holy shield, and a fused dagger. No. Hang on, hang on, oh hang on. Was I have medicine? pain medicine. If you guys yeah. say yes, if you guys say yes, medicine. jump or raise your hand. If you say no, then I'll ask for that in a second as well. The so if you say you yes, raise your hand. You don't have time to litigate. We have less than a minute. Bring okay, the if you say no, okay, who says no and why? We're talking about a six-year-old, aren't we? I think yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 either the daughter doesn't need the heart medicine. Just leave it with the mom. Maybe the daughter's carrying it for the mom, though. Yeah, maybe the you know. Yeah, so I think we should just do regular pain medicine. Pain medicine. Personally, I think a child should carry a good luck Yeah, good luck charm, holy shield, and Because you want to hide what she is. Okay. Sonic, you're gonna be the one telling me. The time has expired. Okay, Pompey. I beg your silence. I will now ask the group. Good job. The letter Z. Hello oh. there. Tell me. Hello. What have you heard the group decide? Give me one item the daughter should carry for her mother. Pain medicine. Pain medicine. Number one. Pyro flow. 808. Hello there. Please tell me what have you heard the group decide the daughter should carry for her mother? Oh, I don't think he can speak. Are they there? Uh, oh, oh, no shit. Audio. Oh, my mic, my mic, my mic. <laughs> <laughs> Ether infused uh, dagger. Ether infused, uh, yeah. infused oh. dagger. Is that correct? Yes. I see. The third item. So who? I mean, I, I can play my item. <laughs> Zomas. It's like a mirror. Zomas. Hello there, Zomas. Hello. What is the third item we will choose today? 
<laughs> what are you thinking, bro? No pressure. Holy shield. You said the shield. What did Holy I hear? Shield? Holy oh. shield. Is that correct, Zomas? Yes. 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 I see. It's gonna be alright. Oh, yeah. Let's fucking get it. We're packing her up. Pound it. Or <laughs> defend level. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm not oh, sure either. Because yeah. it's, it's, it's okay. the it's it's promise. It's fantasy. Because the whole thing is okay. okay. <laughs> The story continues. You will understand. Yeah. <laughs> Love you guys. My headset's my fucking Love you too. <laughs> headset's charging. Uh, child soldier. Hey, don't worry about it. Oh, boy, shit. The mother sits on the bed, leaning against the window frame. What? She's tired of running. Tired of hiding. But she cannot stop. Not yet. She looks through the window at the town as the evening sun sinks behind gray clouds. Painting the buildings with soft pink light. The daughter jumps up on the bed cuddles up to her mother and holds tightly onto her bunny doll. Are we gonna stay here? She asks. I wanna go home. The mother brushes her daughter's hair to the side. Not for long. We're going somewhere else tomorrow. Somewhere safe. Is that where daddy went? The daughter looks up at her mother, hopeful. I think so. You need to sleep, so you can walk with me tomorrow. To there. Look on, look on the bed again, it's hilarious. You need to sleep too. The little girl nudges her, and places her hand over her mother's heart. She can feel it beating steadily. The feeling comforts her. Daddy said, I need to protect Mama. The mother breaks into a heartwarming smile. You already are, my angel. Daddy says you're a good luck charm, as though you have friends watching over you. Friends watching over me and Bunny? She looks at the ceiling, but there's nobody there. The mother laughs. Mm -hmm. The daughter squeezes her bunny doll and goes silent. She thinks deeply for a six-year-old. Mama, will my friends watch over your heart too? She puts an arm around her daughter and pulls her in, and her answer comes only as a whisper, a fragile breath. I hope so. I hope so. The daughter nods and snuggles up close. She falls asleep within minutes. The mother wipes tears from her own eyes and looks back out the window. Night has come. My friends, mother will watch while we all sleep. For what is good never lasts. Please, use the blue save point to follow the daughter into her dreams once more. Not again. Uh, yes, again. Are you nightmare, nightmare? What? Oh, I like this. Oh, it's a pit. It's a pit. No. Don't follow Lucian. Nice. Let's make a solution to it now. Follow Lucian. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lucian, Lucian died. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I just saw Lucian. What the fuck? I'm sorry, man. It was a joke. 
this is gonna I know, I know, I know, I get it, I get it. How you doing? This is funny. I'm doing good. You've just been kissed by me. Thank God, that's still a bit of You've been kissed by a, by a, by a, by a, by a, kissed by a, by a robot. With a, with pink eye. Yeah. My friends. Oh no, I'm gonna contract it now. <laughs> the story yeah, continues. Worry, be fine. I think. Attention, tonight's NPCs. Please come forward. Please change into your dream eater avatars. And now, go take place. Your place in the nightmare. Once more, the unknown oh, figures oh, become oh, aware. Oh, oh, oh. The air is colder. I mean, their vision feels somehow sharper. Perhaps this place is a little brighter than the last place. The last place. Yes, I do. This isn't the first time this person has ended up in such a place. What am I looking for? What must I find? Yes, okay, they have to keep searching. Spoilers? The person is suddenly aware of something behind them. Glancing back over their shoulder, they see only swirling shadow. And they are filled with a sense of dread. Something is coming. Something is following. They stand tall, determined. They will conquer this void. My friends, you will too. Believe in your hearts, as this is your next quest. Listen carefully. Find a way to the end of this nightmare. This time there are no monsters to avoid, but instead a pair of dream eaters blocking the exit. Gather around the dream eaters and answer their question together as a group good luck and hurry <laughs> oh, oh, oh hell yeah motherfucker oh. okay 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 i must oh, find them i must dream of you okay i'm just gonna join the group <laughs> She waits at the bottom of the ocean. You wait behind a tidal wave. I will never forget you. You will always be... Try to remember me. I'll go this way. Oh, shoot! Some of us have fallen. I can't get up, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> They're just looking for the optimal speedrun strat. What the dog do? Wait, what Ask the dog an A press. What the dog doing? What the dog doing? What the dog doing? The dog just vibing in black space. What do you mean? Yeah, no, that's Turns the one good part of the dream. Nintendo. You me? <laughs> Even at the bottom. Even nightmares train. have cute dogs in them. Oh, exactly. He's actually a dog. Okay. See, so. <laughs> I just say that this is a very cool one. Yes, 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 yeah, please, please. Hmm. I was gonna say a wrong answer. Let's do a triple one. Come on. Why is a dog a dream eater? It reminds me of the angels in uh, Diablo 3. A dream eater can be a seed. You mean like cereal? <laughs> cereal, what you talking about? Seed yeah, yeah. solution. It reminds me of that. That he picks this. <laughs> yeah, do that. It does. It does. Oh, it does look like a little bit. It's so fitting. If you have no idea how fitting this is. Except the face. The face is different. The face for it is like a. Like a face. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, I'll explain later. Weird. Fucking total I'm trying to. So, do we go with the angel? Monster wads, or do we go as puppy? Uh, the puppy scares me more. I'm gonna stay on this side. Dude, yeah, I'm the monster. Monster. I don't want to see what the animal monsters up to. I think the puppy's a trick. He's yeah. horrible. He clearly is. I'm trying. <laughs> 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 
Okay, I think I got it. I, I, I just like the little <laughs> dance he does with the sound. Hey, it's kind of comfy up here, though. I can only no, go no, up here, up here, though. What, what, the, what, the, what the fuck is oh, happening shit. here? <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. I didn't oh, notice no. this. All right, all right. Wow. Guys, that's enough. That's enough. We gotta continue what this the... Get that. Get that. Get that. Get that. What are you all doing here? What's the money? Babylon. Even if it was momentarily, we did it for one moment. For one moment, we rivaled the Dream Eaters, but it was a fleeting moment. We do not see, see, I'm terrified because Trajan's a dream eater, Captain. and I don't have a dream eater. They cannot kill a moth, this moth is invincible. Insane. Captain, 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 and strong when at its weakest. Mm. I feel like the answer is Lucario from Smash Bros. I don't know. E. I was going to say Super Saiyan. Oh no, I didn't hear it. <laughs> it's a paradox. Hmm. I honestly. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know the answer to this riddle. Listen carefully. What is weak when at its strongest? And strong when at its weakest. Weakest when it's strongest. I'm strong. thinking of that uh, cornstarch water. Strongest, mixture. weakest when it's at its strongest. Oh, yeah. 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 So they have to answer this as a team. Yeah. 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 a team. Not as a team. All right. Okay, I'm just going to choose someone random and they give me give a guess and that. Okay, letter Z, what, what do you think? Well, I mean, we're not trying to answer them, answer them, just no, like, on. you know, we're thick. I can't, I'm blanking it right now, I need more time. VRT. I oh, think the okay. answer is probably in this area somewhere. <laughs> the only thing I can remember is there's an ocean and a tidal wave, but I don't think that's the answer. <laughs> so you think it's something water related? <laughs> Or it's something in this area. Okay. Well, I went down a completely has, different I think it's related. The uh, driving oh, stairs. What do you think? I mean, Just perhaps time. any one of the paths well, could have to do with it. I think I may have a guess. Oh, but, but I'm not sure it's good. Be I'm thinking, I'm thinking love. love. I guess anyone. I am okay. quite okay. curious. Do you, you think something related to water? I think I actually agree with you. That sounds like it. We recording a stream? Yeah. yeah. This is right. Right. That makes sense. Yeah. What do you mean? This is a lot of like, what what is it? I think it's something we have to put some these answers right, so together. Yeah, yeah, raise your hand if you think it's dreams. It could be a memory. Dreams. No, it's not. I don't think it's dreams. I thought of like a chain too. Like Love makes a lot more sense. A chain. I think it's dreams. What if it's all? Alright, we're gonna I'm thinking way too deep. I, I think it's Shane. The weakest link can be in the middle, and even on its own, it's very strong. Okay, one, two, three. I agree with chains. That that makes sense. Okay, some people are jumping. I don't how chains came in this. Weakest one of chains. Not sure either, but it makes sense. Okay. It seems like we've got a Okay, that's what you sound like. Okay, Lucian. Refusing to love it. Clarify, weaves. If two people love each other, so love is the concept, love is the answer. Sir, when it's at its strongest, it's also at its weakest because, like, if it's broken, that person's going to fall apart. But when it's at its weakest, it's yeah. at its strongest because of infatuation. You're, like, attached to that person. Mm. Okay, so... Yeah. Yeah. Between yeah. Between yeah. Love, it like right trust track, instead of love. love. Like, like, interesting answer, know. Lucian. I think I'm gonna have to agree with you, mate. Trust, love, or... Perhaps okay, yeah, Chain is sounding less likely, so it sounds like it's trust. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to trust. Trust? Does everyone say trust? Our time has run out. I vote love. They must have been kick on Silence. Silence. Mm -hmm. What is your answer? 
Love. 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 Means the answer is love. Yes. Well, how mm. quaint. Love. Oh. Love is romance. <laughs> oh, jeez. Rude. <laughs> Sounded so kind. <laughs> I know do, we get another, do we get another guess? This is my answer. Uh, Damn, that's yeah, crazy. That's so Here we only get one choice. <laughs> Yo, I knew it's the previous one. I don't know this one. Jesus, I don't even laugh, man. I'm out of the net. We might be on the right track, but maybe it's more specific than that. I mean, I didn't see anything, so I'm guessing we can't even try. Oh, no, it's not the same. You have little on the Patreon only. Oh, never mind. We're not going to see it, guys. We may as well try everything. The riddle was too easy, because we figured it out in a few seconds. This one? The strange nightmare oh, manifestations and enters a new space. There isn't much of a visual shift, but something feels very, very different. There's a sense of vast openness, yet without the freshness of being outdoors. There comes the scent of dust and rust. They look ahead, peering into the shadows that feel distant. Mm. And a shape begins to take form. It is colossal. It hangs in an abyss. Majestic and imposing. As the person perceives more and more of it, it its wings cut through the darkness like great blades of night. And there it waits. Motionless, expectant. My friends, please use the blue save point. Hmm. Interesting name for the save. I think we fudged up. Oh, oh, Travelers. The girl is jolted awake by a loud bang that shakes the room. A vase topples from the table and smashes on the floor. We have to go. Get dressed. We have to go now. The girl tries to explain to her mother about her nightmare, about she now knows what the person is searching for. The room shakes again, cracking the window this time. The girl stops mid-sentence when she looks through the broken glass. Its image distorted, fragmented. It hangs in the night sky. It is here. The monster is here. It's following us! The little girl here. Shakes before tumbling from the bed. Pushing herself up against the back wall of the room. There are sounds of a firefight outside the town. Don't look at it. The mother comes to grab her. It's going to be okay. Mama will protect you, but we have to leave now. The world comes down around them. Scary. 
my friends this way. Hurry. You said so, boss. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> the end is upon. Oh my god. Oh, I know it's a different world. How is this? Hey, yeah, down that way. Go, go, go. You all. Come on, everybody. Just make oh, it together. Damn. <laughs> it is hot as. <laughs> 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 this place is hot as hell. Yeah, it's a little bit quiet, though, for me. I'm deaf. But I'm deaf. Delay them as much as possible. We're up ahead. Oh, I think kill I killed them. them. <laughs> I'll simply hit them. Oh it. god! I actually <laughs> thought that was. Funny. I got a gun, don't worry. Oh. oh my god, he's a <laughs> giant <laughs> Gundam! Oh, what the? <laughs> Well, no, if anyone's dad, where's the robot? And fight. Who's, who's the... Oh. Right there. Oh, oh, time. Yeah, look, it's your mama. Time. Oh, fuck it It's up. your mama. Oh, uh, yeah, the motorcycle. Bike. <laughs> oh, we need guns. Bike. <laughs> bike center right Trying to ride. Trying to ride the bike. Trying to ride the bike. Let me ride the bike. Oh shit! With daughter in tow, the mother makes her way to the town exit opposite the firefight. In the street, the mother spots a motorcycle lying on its side, still running. She goes to lift it upright. Halt! A large soldier appears, armed with a gun blade. The town of Shade is now under martial law by order of the Grey. All civilians are to report for ether scanning. Come with me. The daughter holds her mother's hand tight. The mother states they were already scanned and have no potential. She slowly backs away. I said halt, the soldier orders. He then presses a button on his visor. The mother sees this and pushes her daughter to run and hide behind a wooden crate. With a racing heart, the mother now stands defiantly between her daughter and the towering soldier. His eyes go wide as he reads his visor display. It's over 9,000! What's this? You haven't been scanned. You both are coming with me. Of the map real quick. Eyes. Keeping eye contact with the mother, the soldier reaches for his comms device, preparing to notify command of his discovery. The mother must think fast, and so begins your next quest. You have three options to choose from. Attack, defend, or mother's instinct. 30 seconds to decide as a group. Mother's instinct. Shoot. I'm feeling mother's instinct. 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 Mother's instinct.
that's 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 the thing I'm believing is gonna happen. That's that's yeah, that's a red flag. Instinct. That's a red flag. That is a red flag. I ignore that. Don't don't mention it. Never mention that. Watch that be the wrong option. But I don't think I don't think the two of us can persuade everybody to not do that. I don't think there's a right. Never mention that it's beyond the time period. It's just a big case. He's very he's counting in his head, so he's kind. Either no. one, either somebody's yeah, dying. Times. The thing is, we expired. must use the power of anime and god on our side. We got this. Black Dagger. <laughs> Tell me, okay. uh, what you're has the group decided? Black Dagger, you're the choice. You got the choice. Uh, uh, okay, we fucking... Mother's Instinct. We, we, all just... we use the power... <laughs> Bro, think about it. We use the power of god. Use that shield. We, get choices. We, use, we fucking use that shield. Bro. The, the shield's with Mother's the instinct. child, not the mother. God, I'm sorry, hold up, sorry. Yeah, shield, nice. fucking shield. Yeah. Attack, defend the mother's shield. instinct. Which one, Black Dagger? Yeah. Mother's instinct. He literally mother's walked instinct. away. He's over there. What did he do? Sorry, sorry, my fucking VR is so fucked up. But no, I'm not saying it's wrong. All y'all are saying is easy, but hold the fuck on. Shield, though. Shield, though. Think about it. Holy shield. Think about it. The shield can easily break. Your answer. Yeah. You're out of time, oh. Black Dagger. Listen oh, carefully. Oh. She puts up her hands, but realizes his weapon is still sheathed, and what he is holding is just a comm device. At the last second, she rushes the soldier, only for him to catch her by the wrist. With his other arm, he makes a tight fist and hooks her in the hard, hooks her hard in the face. Fracturing her yeah. jaw. Aww. Ouch. Okay. Good thing we got the pain medicine. Oh. <laughs> that jaw's gonna need it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what, uh, what happened? If, what the mother mother's was instinct. knocked to the ground, but quickly I don't gets think we're out. Gonna know. The soldier shoulders his gun blade, aiming at her head. Attack, defend, or oh. mother's instinct. You have oh, 30 really, seconds. Oh, really? You have no choice. Shit. Mother's, mother's instinct. 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 Mother's
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty nice. This is America. Pull out the nine. I'm still throwing wild cards and pack them into cards. I'm still wondering if I should take a picture of this because this might be spoilery. I feel like you fucking do. Time has expired. I did. W e r t y l l. Tell me, what has the group decided? Haven't in a long time. Uh, the group. Yeah. Defend. Yeah. Defend. 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 I see. Uh oh. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, Those are usually bad sign when it comes to She jumps back just out of range of the swing, then uses the wall behind her to spring forward and grapple the gun blade handle, wrestling it free from the soldier. Before she can position herself to swing it, he hooks her hard in the stomach and she drops the weapon. The angry Damn soldier it. grabs her left arm and twists it into a lock. She manages to unclip an incendiary grenade with her, with her other arm from his belt. But then, he brings his elbow down hard on her left arm, breaking it. Oh my god! god. Did she, oh my! Did she didn't break her arm the previous one. Oh. I know the options. Yeah, right. I know the options. I think it's attack this time. I think it's attack this time because he dropped oh, the weapon giant. on the floor. If broken. she can get to that weapon, she has a grenade. Or he pulled the grenade. No, the grenade. Yeah, don't make the monster. I thought she was. No, actually, it's the final round. The soldier looks at the grenade in her hand. A flash of fear in his eyes. It's not the, mother the, uses the, this the mother uses this distraction to knee him hard in the gut before moving away. The daughter, witnessing all of this, screams for her mother. Now positioned between them, the soldier pulls. The soldier grabs the daughter and demands that the mother drop the grenade or she dies. The daughter shouts. Leave us alone! Just as a red aura erupts around her. Oh. <laughs> attack, oh. defend, or mother's oh, attack. instinct. 30 this seconds. Has to be attack this one. Attack. Mother's instinct. Mother's instinct. Mother's instinct. Yesterday it was blue. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 oh. I don't think Mother's Instinct is Mother's Instinct. Mother's Instinct should let the character decide the answer. Like their instinct to do either attack or defend. So I think attack. I think attack. Considering she has the red glow, the daughter. We should defend. Daughter sounds like she's gonna go boom. I think it's just Wait, the daughter. The I think it's just the daughter. Kind of like that kind of guy as it is. Kind of needs to defend. It was what? It was okay. what? Yeah. 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 The daughter's gonna do something. Maybe we should defend the mother. I'm still being saying I'm all about that. Did you notice the color? Tracking, okay? But we know the child's gonna do something. The mother is the one we choose for. I guess the tag, yeah. Your time has expired. Shadow Key. Shadow Key, step forward and be brave. Tell me, what does the mother do? It's just a handshake. You know, it's Attack! A handshake. Oh, I'm leaving. No! Oh, 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 Listen carefully. Oh, I want to see it. Don't worry, the mother don't meets her daughter's it. eyes and shouts, Make him go away! You just gotta believe! You gotta believe in the heart of the cards! Oh, drops her bunny doll and closes her eyes. The aura explodes into a torrent of red flames. The soldier tries to block, but the pure ether rips into him, tearing through his body, yep, yep. sending him Attack. flying through a wall. I wonder if there's just some narrative changes in that group. Yeah. Lots of way. <laughs> so barely injured, okay. but still injured. alive, the oh, soldier no. gets up. Immediately, okay. he runs to his mech.
climbing up into the, the open grenade cockpit. Just the before the door grenade. closes, the, the mother throws the, the incendiary grenade inside. Hey. Hey. Oh, the ground sets on fire. But not because of the grenade going off. Anime and God. A shadow sweeps across everything. Oh shit. The dark monument now hovers over the town gates, dropping bolts of blazing fire in every direction. Yeah, I'm a dark monument. The mother grunts in pain as she lifts the motorcycle from before back into an upright position. Holy shit. There are a few bullet holes in the frame, but it's still running. She calls to her daughter to get on, but the girl stands unmoving, staring at the monster in the sky. Oh, come on. Quickly, she pulls her daughter up on the seat with her. She still has one strong leg and arm. The adrenaline masks the pain. For now. We're going to be okay. She tells the daughter, I promise you, we have to, she thinks to herself. Together, they speed away from the inferno that was shade. My friends, this way. Okay, we made it past this section. We're on. It's a sad place anyway. Let me I guess. damn well know this town's gonna, guess, get, gonna uh, get blown up to smithereens. I damn well know it. it <laughs> I knew it. <sighs> yes, I, uh, yes, I'm yes, I'm sorry to reveal it to you this way, guys, but I am the dark huh. monument. Yo, huh? <laughs> I, Dude, you I also said you were a god. When I okay. Yo, are you everything? Yeah, but like, <laughs> no, like, someone said I looked at the dark, I was, so they, like, when I was flying, <laughs> someone said I was the dark monument. So I'm the dark monument. <laughs> Don't go ahead, please. I just got shot! <laughs> Hello, is anyone getting us on stage vu with that uh, dark monument thing? Yeah, it sounds kind of familiar. Wait, what's this? Yeah. Oh, Excuse you. What was that? Thank you. <laughs> My cat purring. Bless you. <laughs> that sounds like a cat purring, kind of. Hold on. There's a motor going on. Yeah, I think it's the motorcycle ad. Sounds like a cat this purring. Is. Did you say you're a cat, Luna? The, no, the sky. No. is dark yeah. my friends they ride like for hours the trail is empty the sound of the wind and the rumble of the engine slowly fade out of the mother's mind all she can hear are her own thoughts alongside the painful thumps in her chest the daughter holds on silently Eyes staring vacantly into the darkening sky. Angel, I'm so sorry. We are almost there. We will be at a safe place soon, the mother says. The daughter does not respond. My friends, this way. Hold on, hold on. something's off. I think I... I have a problem. My thing went black. Is this on Talk on Titan? Nah, let me stop. Bruh. Motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> Titan? Yeah, it does. Get back. Back. Hmm. Yeah. Hell yeah. Did you know that your, your seat is like tilted ever Gibberish. so slightly this way? Ooh. Or this way, one of the ways? Some good stuff. stuff. No. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I know. Yeah, because when I get on it, it's just my head seeing is everyone's like reactions. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah. Yeah. That much? Yeah, yeah, it's so head. Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. <clears throat> oh, no, I'm just Something's excited. Something's gonna go wrong. Almost. <laughs> the sky <laughs> the is darker. Is darker. The outpost looms ahead. Various points of light are moving about. The mother left the motorcycle on the road. It ran out of fuel a while ago. She leads her daughter by the hand, struggling to breathe as they walk. Finally, they're somewhere safe. Finally, they can take it.
and she can... she can heal her. Wait. Something isn't right. This is meant to be a waypoint for smugglers. Why are there soldiers everywhere? Gray soldiers. The mother breaks down. She lets go of her daughter's hand and drops to her knees. This is hopeless. They can't escape. What is she even doing here? The information from Shade wasn't correct. And it hurts. Everything hurts. The pain is almost unbearable. And it's getting worse by the minute. Mama? The daughter's voice is tiny and feeble. Mama, are you okay? The mother looks at her daughter. You should sleep, Mama. I'll sleep too. And we can go to the Dark World together. She takes hold of her mother's hand. I thought there were monsters there, but I know who it actually is. It's safe there, Mama. It's more safe than here. Oh my Let's God. go to sleep and forget this place. The mother listens to her daughter's words and begins to cry. She can't die here, and this poor child is already succumbing to the trauma. Her angel is losing herself. No, she has to be stronger. She has to make her own hope. The mother stands up and takes her daughter's hand. There has to be a way through here. There has to. My friends, this way. I am dead once more. Don't worry, guys. I'm from Metal Gear Solid. Revergence. I can cut through any Alright, where's Raiden? Oh, Raiden, where are you? Maybe a bit of a oh, oh my god. Okay. Um, I can handle this, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. Getting your Magitech vehicles? Getting your Magitechs? What are you going to do? I'm like 50 bucks, really good. The Praetorium? Yeah, we just bribe him. We just bribe him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My uncle has done that. We give him the holy shield and say it's a relic of yours. Here you go. Let us live. They sneak through the building, carefully avoiding the patrols. They stop and remain silent as two soldiers approach one another. They stop to talk. And the mother listens carefully. Hey, I'm sure you've heard, but Shade's been wiped from the map. Nothing left but ashes. <laughs> it doesn't feel real. One soldier says with a worried tone. I'm not surprised. The dark monument is in the region, and Shade was a known supply point for the ethos. Ah, uh, but what if it comes here? They say it just destroys everything that's not a part of its unit. It's not an animal. Unlikely. That machine they excavated is here. It's scheduled to transport to District Zero. They would not destroy something this important. Huh? Oh, oh, you mean that creepy mech nobody is allowed to go near? Yeah, rumor has it. There is an ether amplifier on board. The scanners, Matt, can't make sense of it. Oh, that's impossible. I thought you can only fit one of those on big warships. Don't you need to grow them, or something crazy like that? Well, whatever it is. I heard they can't get the mech to work. It fries any equipment we attach to it. Hey, want to go see it before it ships out? Nobody is watching it now. 
Uh, no way. That thing gives me the creeps. I always feel weird standing around it. The soldiers part ways to continue their patrols. Dagger. I gotta Before go. leaving the area, oh, you gotta go. The yeah, mother gotta go. concludes that the mech they Indeed. spoke of is their only chance to escape this region. She looks at her daughter. The girl has been silent, staring vacantly at the wall since they arrived. She wants to check if she's all right. She wants to talk to her. But there's no time. They need to move. My friends, this way. Hmm. Not sound like gonna go well. Well, I think you go well. Oh, cool. Oh, 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 yeah. This reminds me of this mess. A painter. Y'all like average size, and I doubled it. I don't know. The other one looks more fearsome this than that one. This can't oh, be. Oh, that looks much more fearsome. Oh no, she got it. What happened? You know, yeah. darling in the Franks. Oh. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> I was thinking of, uh, this be the mech from the painter? Magic, Magic Knight? No, no. it's not. No, 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 it's not. Have you seen that one? Have you seen that one? But you're, you're going, 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 I should recognize it, so... So this being a new model, I figured you this would be cool there? to the painter, so... Um... Mm. Uh, you want me to head out for a bit, I'll be back. I might bill. eventually will. Telling you. We'll be good to go. Okie dokie. See ya. I don't think that'll work. Uh, oh, I was just coming to say bye, I don't know he's leaving. My friends, there it stands alone. The air is thick around it, drowning out sound and somehow the glare of the night lights. This is our only chance, the mother thinks to herself. This is the only way out. I have to get us out of here, even if it... It's warm to the touch. The cockpit eerily and silently opens. Not wasting time, the mother motions for her daughter to climb inside with her, but the girl refuses. The mother looks up and sees a guard in the distance slowly patrolling closer. She kneels down to her eye level and whispers in frustration they need to fly to where daddy is. The daughter backs away from her and the mech. She speaks with a quivering voice. No, that's not the right way. We need to wait here way for the pilot. What? The mother is confused and tries to reach for her daughter. We have to go now. No, it's the pilot. In the dream, Mama. The pilot is going to save us. The daughter says louder as she backs away again. Angel, please. They are going to see us. I am the pilot, and we are going to fly to where Daddy is. Get in now, please. No. Don't go in there. We will be safe if we go to sleep. I need to help the pilot search. The daughter says louder, starting to cry. Stop, please, Angel. Calm down. She pleads with her right arm outstretched. It's not safe in there, Mama. The child shrieks. It's too late. A soldier on the wall shouts and triggers the intruder alarms. Sirens start blaring, and the daughter panics. 
running into her mother's arms. Blinding spotlights quickly discover their whereabouts, illuminating the mother and daughter, alone holding one another under ghostly white light. The pilot will save us. The pilot will save us. The pilot will save us. She says over and over while shaking. <laughs> the daughter faints in her mother's arms. Angel, Angel, wake up. Angel. The mother pats her daughter's face gently. The sirens continue to blare, and the soldiers are making their way down the walls. The mother looks at her daughter's unconscious face, and then over to the mech's open cockpit. My friends, listen carefully. You have a choice to make. Stand next to the magenta mech if you wish to stay awake with the mother. Stand next to my fellow tour guide Trajim if you wish to follow the daughter into the darkest nightmare. Make your choice. <laughs> Uh, need a way to do it. I wish to go this way. Um, this way. I believe in the kid. The shadow realm is there. That's what the mother is right here. Stay awake. I'm not making any progress. I'm sorry. The children are our future. Don't worry, I came prepared. To another nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck me, do I? Yeah, I mean, totally, yeah. Have yeah. Brand new. Items. Brand new. Stay here, I think. I That's true. Do like a, Don't uh, see that side. I'm curious what this side holds. We can just ask them. Really? So many people want to go that way. I mean, it was the same yesterday, wasn't it? No! We don't even have people on this side. I didn't notice how many people were on this side. split the party. We're all doomed. I'm pretty oh, sure no. they're similar. But I want to see what my mother's doing. I had enough of those yeah, nightmares. The recording I have from yesterday is when I was there. Even had if it was split. only two, I had enough. And you had to get both sides, I think. My friends, <laughs> you, honest, you have chosen well. Please, allow me a moment to see off the other side. Okay. What's up? I kind of want to go on the I'm going to be honest, I don't have to say I'm going to check for that point. I know you had a black But I just went this way because I've been on the other point. I feel like her mom is the pilot. Party mode? Her mom is the pilot. That's what happens if I put the black wire in the party. Yeah, I think I have life as a world. Did she go here or did I? That's what I feel like, bro, because her mom been literally... I mean, and I get it, it's her mom's job to protect her daughter. But I feel like she's the pilot. I feel like... Oh, guys. My friends. The mother struggles up the side of the mech, careful not to use her broken wrist directly, and manages to lift her daughter into the magenta mech's cockpit. She then climbs in with her. Everyone, please use the yellow save point. Ooh. Awesome. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, for this? Oh. What it looks like. Oh. Hey, hey. I feel so tiny. Smaller than Yulius's hands. What? Been here with a good uh, puppy, is it? The fuck you said to me? Yeah, feel smaller than you Yulius's hands. You don't have to deal with nightmares. Oh, boy, don't you care? Also, it's better because I can sit down and let my headset turn around right here. Gear. Rather than moving around. So I feel good Those because you're here. <laughs> Two for one, dude. Two for one. Two for two for. Metal cure. Oh, yeah, dude. Big brain, small My hands. friends, I recommend yeah, you stay near the front windshield. I'm not gonna social distance. I'm sorry, giant cubicle. The story continues. You just call Sheen a cubicle? <laughs> the mother yeah. secures the pass. Passenger seat belts around her daughter. She readies herself in the pilot seat and notices there are no movement controls. She places her right hand over her pounding, aching chest while frantically searching for a way to start the machine. Come on, please. Turn on, please. It can't end like this, she thinks. Suddenly, 
The cockpit lights up. An automated voice speaks. Initiating startup sequence. Mimetic drive connected. Scanning for contact identity markers. Negative. Unregistered pilot detected. Initiating emergency instruction. Attention! This mech is controlled by mental imaging. The pilot must visualize desired action, and the chained observer modem will respond. What? The mother says. I have to think about... Uh, okay, yes, I understand. Warning. Multiple hostile lock-ons detected. Ending emergency instruction. The magenta mech begins to move, with the mother at the controls. Two enemy mechs approach, both preparing to fire cannons. The mother has to fight for her life. And so do you. You all have 30 seconds to decide, as a group, which of the following oh. three options the mother will choose. Attack, defend, or evade. Your time begins now. I think maybe we should at least, uh, try attack first. What? I, was evade. I think we should try I attack first and then evade in the next attack. round. It's got an ether they cannon. have to drop on you us, do they not? It. You'd have to charge it. They've yeah. already got the drop on you. Yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. evade then. So. Yeah, I think evade. There's two of them. There's two of them. One fires and the other waits and then fires. Oh. Defend, because you dodge, you'll just be hit by the second one. True. That's a good point. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure that if um, we fly, if we fly, we also get hit. I'm pretty sure. Or if we evade, we will we'll also get hit. I'm pretty sure. If we, so if, I, I'm saying defending. evade just because uh, mm, we were just trying to get out of here. We're not trying to specifically take them down at least. So I think evading is, might be the best yeah. option. Yeah. Yeah, but what happened if they take us yeah. down with one blow? But that means we just gotta keep evading at that point. Just don't get hit. Well, yeah. why get don't hit. we defend and then evade? We'll, we'll, we'll see how. We'll Your see time how has goes. expired. Sell VR. What is the group's decision? Hmm. I feel like evading. I agree. We want to evade. Yeah. yeah. The mother struggles right. to will the magenta mech to walk. She sees the cannons aimed toward her and thinks back to the computer's instruction. The legs begin to move, stepping backward away from the enemy. She's met with heavy fire, which she dodges at the last moment. She breathes hard, fighting the shock of how loud the rounds were, and struggles to catch her breath. The magenta mech continues to respond to her thoughts and brings its hands up to cover the chest plate as if clutching a heart. The mother now realizes how responsive this machine is. But before she can counterattack, the magenta mech is struck hard in the back and sent rolling to the ground. The impact Yikes. rattles the cockpit and is so loud it blurs her vision. Her ears painfully ring as she turns to check on her daughter. She is still unconscious, but secure and in her seat. Round two begins. I think we should attack next. The painful yeah, thumps I in the mother's chest are growing worse. She struggles to calm her breathing as she watches two more enemy mechs join the fight. Now, there are four total. Suddenly, an alarm goes off in the cockpit. Warning, erratic palpitations detected in pilot. Warning, erratic palpitations detected in pilot. The mother doesn't have time to listen as she sees two mechs prepare to fire and one charge for a melee attack. Attack, defend, or evade. 30 seconds. Mm. One's charging, another one's running another towards us. Are... 
Yeah, well, two are charging shoot. and one's preparing to head towards us. At that point, I don't think we can evade it all. We'd have to prepare to defend or even attack, but attacking put us defend or you know, attack. Three defend of them are attacking would us. probably end up being a counterattack. Yeah, you probably need to defend the numbers. In a way, but evading doesn't seem to work with four or three attack ready to attack us. Yeah, no. So we only got either either attack or defend. I think we should just go for the attack. I don't know. We're trying to defend right, our daughter here. Uh, she's in her seat, right? So we're just trying to keep her daughter alive. Mm -hmm. mm, I yeah. feel like defend yeah. personally. Just to, just we're trying to keep it as stable as possible. We may end up overwhelmed point. though if more join the fight and yeah, we haven't but dispatched the robot, some. It's also getting fucked up though. True. Did you see True. the mechs are up there? Can solo four of them at once. Less four damage of them total. From might having a counterattack yeah. in there. I don't know. But they said that this is this robot was like one of the strongest one. Doesn't mean we not use it. We have three. Your we have time three has expired. Alienorx. Tell me, what has the group decided? Uh, defend. Now fully aware how to manipulate the magenta mech, the mother feels a spark of hope in her fluttering heart. She takes a deep breath and braces to catch enemy mech and the enemy mech sprinting toward her. They collide with a burst of sparks. The enemy is lifted off the ground. The power of the magenta mech is made clear as she holds it in front, using it as a metal shield against the incoming attacks. But it is too late. A heavy sword comes down hard on her side, cutting off the magenta mech's left arm. The mother Come drops on, her opponent and Jeez. rockets out of range, struggling to keep her balance. Round three begins. Ignoring the damage oh. alerts beeping and flashing around her, she looks down at the severed arm, then up at her opponents, standing over it. Three more enemy mechs march out of the shadows to join the battle. Oh, I really think we should just attack at this point. Because yeah. if we don't attack, yeah. more keeps coming. I oh, jeez. The condition yeah. of the mother affects us oh. well from early. Oh, my. Oh, so oh not not hello. The mother's focused expression does oh, not change. God. Suddenly, an alarm goes off in the cockpit. Warning. Acute cardiac arrest detected in pilot. Warning. Acute oh, cardiac no. arrest detected in pilot. Oh, I That's will not good. break, she whispers to herself, while glancing at her daughter. The enemy mech splits into two groups and move to her sides. The group on her left charges for a melee attack, and the group on her right readies cannons to fire. Attack, defend, or evade. 30 seconds. Attacking both yeah, will be hard. Evade, probably. Yeah. <laughs> At this point, you're basically down. <laughs> I don't know. We might as well see what the attack is like, right? We're at the point of being overwhelmed. Still one arm. Is there? Is there? Oh shit! We probably should have done attack much earlier. More firepower. Yeah, we should have done attack earlier. It would have been easy. Well, they still would have joined next turn anyways, and they would have, you know, whatever. Um, hmm, do we just evade or defend? Or, I don't know. Well, I want to see what the attack is like, like, at least, I... for next time, right? I'm, I'm curious what the attack's like for, like, a next tour, so. It's only going to get worse uh, if we let more cups, attack. so attacking might Good be awesome. important. Throwing hands. Yeah. Attack, attack. You can't attack. always attack, though. Think about it. Well, we you attack haven't one even side, you leave yourself though. open. She's already about to die. If I'm going down, I'm Amelia. going down with throwing fists. Amelia. Time has expired. Tell me, what has the group decided? I'm gonna have to go of attack. The mother... Yeah. ...plans out her actions, mentally picturing them in order. 
The melee attackers arrive first, as she anticipated. She rockets toward one and delivers a powerful gut punch, causing it to drop its sword. She catches the weapon before it falls. My friends, the magenta mech is fast. Much too fast for them to keep up. And she dodges more melee attacks and prepares to strike with her new weapon. She, however, is outnumbered, and she hears firing cannons behind her. She is struck multiple times, and one round is a direct hit on the cockpit. The mother screams as the magenta mech is knocked far and onto its back. Round four begins. Oh, shit. Oh. A small explosion inside the magenta mech has left sparks flying out of the dashboard multiple damage alerts blaring for attention and smoke slowly filling the cockpit one alarm oh, is far louder than the rest warning severe cardiac arrest detected in pilot warning severe cardiac arrest detected in pilot the mother oh, the ignores the noise and the agony in her chest. She turns to check on her daughter. Through the smoke, she can see her little face, still asleep. She reaches above toward a compartment. An oxygen mask fall out. One of them falls to the floor, its tube burned off. The other still hangs intact. Yeah. Quickly, she straps the oxygen mask around her sleeping daughter. She then wipes the many tears from her own eyes and returns to the fight. She sees four more enemy mechs march out of the shadows. Oh, damn it. Oh. We're cornered. We're screwed. Oh, yeah, we're man. Fucked. Now yeah, there are fucked. 11 total. It's too late. All have a little faith. 11 enemy mechs charge forward for a melee attack. Attack, defend, or evade. 30 seconds. Well, I mean, they're not I going for a gun. Like... We still have the sword in the hand, I believe, right? They don't think he if said anything about us dropping the melee, weapon. Right? If all 11 are going for melee, wouldn't it just be easier to just dodge since we're so much faster than them? Yeah. And then we try to get out of there yeah, as fast sense. as possible. We yeah, could that makes sense. Sense. We it's been hard, hard to evade. They're charging hit, from all directions. Every time we've been wow. hit has been with a blast to our back. If they're all charging melee, then we, as long as we dodge, we're good because they don't have the, the blast prepared. Evade. Yeah. We can. We are surrounded evade, though. Hundred percent. Nah, if they're all charging, you can probably find an opening somewhere. But again, the the our heart condition isn't great right now. Uh, I just She's think on last evade legs. to get out of here. Probably that's probably what I, I'm thinking. Were we even given an option yeah. to use the healing items? Pretty sure there was a point. We don't have heart medicine. Heal. We chose oh, that's pain right. medicine kid has instead it. of heart medicine. Oh. Oh. Oh uh, yeah, if they're all going for melee, uh, every time we've evaded or defended, the only thing that's hit us is a uh, a blast shot or something. So if none of them we're are fast enough shots, to attack say we against anyone. We're, we're fast. That's yeah. melee distance. Okay, so what do you guys think? I imagine we're low on time here. Evade. I'd, I'd say evade, right? Evade. Evade. Yeah. yeah. yeah evade mm -hmm. just sounds. Cause Cause we're much split. faster than them. Evade and they can't hit us right. our back since sure. they're all preparing to charge. We kind of got an even split here. Julius, are you there? Yes, I am very much here. My dear friend, what will the mother do? What does the group think? Well, uh, is running away an option? Attack, defend, or evade. In that case, evading. Evade. Please be good, please be good. The mother grits her teeth through the pain and prepares to fight. Still holding the sword from before, 
the magenta mech turns to evade. But there are too many of them and nowhere left to run. Two of the enemies break from the group and charge ahead. The mother blocks the first attack, is quick to recover, and parries the next. The force of her swing knocks several enemy mechs back, but by now she is surrounded up close. She screams and swings, but all her attacks are blocked or parried. There are just too many. The impacts just keep coming. Each time she blocks the cockpit, the cockpit is rattled, hardened her hearing and vision to fade in and out. Two enemy mechs swing toward her head at the same time. She yells as she blocks, but the force breaks her sword in half and knocks her down. She drops the weapon as she falls onto her back. The magenta mech. The magenta mech's re remaining right arm is stepped on and held down. In the air, she sees an airborne enemy. It is rocketing downward toward her, with its sword aimed to pierce the magenta mech's left chest. Her eyes go wide as she screams again, fighting with all her might to get her right arm free. The poor mother raises her own numb and broken left arm up to block, but there's nothing left to block with. The massive blade impales the magenta mech, tearing into the cockpit. And across the mother's left eye. Oh. Well, now we can be a pirate. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, hard. You should have said attack. Have said attack would have been good. Weatherman if we would have. <laughs> We really should have attacked first. We would first. have done it at the first. Yeah, at the first shit. The well, first not, well, now we know <laughs> for next time, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not sure we're but first to time over here. Time. So I was wondering how the options would have played out. I meant on next tour, on next version of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Final Damn, round. So we're basically begins. just dead. Final round. Oh, how are we round. not dead? What the One fuck? of the many alarms going off in the cockpit gives a voice alert. Warning. Massive heart attack detected in pilot. Warning. Massive heart attack detected oh, in pilot. She's the mother attack. blinks her right eye. She tries to turn her head to check on her daughter. But she can no longer move her body. Her breathing has been reduced to slow, labored wheezing. The air coming from the damage in the chest plate allows the smoke to clear. She can still see the enemy through it, watching her. Soon, five more enemies march in from the sides and circle around the magenta mech. Now, there are 16 total. All 16 enemy mechs raise their cannons to fire. The mother can still think. She can still wheel the machine to move. My friends, attack, defend, or evade. 30 seconds. Okay, this has evade. to be evade. Cannons? We, we have to evade, evade cannons. Evade. There's too many You know cannons. what? Why not? Yep, I'd say evade at this point. There's but nothing more we really is... can do. I see yeah. so many dead <laughs> flags around. If we attack yeah. all the flags, flags, we're basically dead. We're basically all three. Dead. <laughs> and we're dead. dead. Evading yeah. is our only course of options. Okay. There's nowhere to evade Friendly to anyways. Fire. Think about it. What's the safest place Friend... next to a tank? It's next another to tank. Tank. <laughs> another tank. Another tank. And tanks are going to shoot another tank. I mean, we are yeah, still but we don't know if that's actually going to happen. Each other. 
Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking the same thing for attack. Or we can into yeah. the mix. You might be struck by behind either way. Yeah. I don't think we can take out any since all of our attacks we haven't taken out a robot. Or a mech. The not gonna We've only like disabled point. them for a sort of intent. I imagine we're supposed to buy time then. Yeah, evading round. my fight time. time has Defending, we're, probably, we're still getting hit. The L-Man 1000, tell me, what will the mother do? Wait, what? Evade just feels like... Yeah, evading. Is there another person here I don't evade. see? Yeah, evade. it's the, L, the L-Man 1000. That's his name. Evade. There we go, evade. I see him now. The mother stands and tries to evade, but the magenta mech moves slow with her fading thoughts. It takes a step and is struck in the shoulder by a cannon blast. Catching itself and standing up straight again, the magenta mech takes another step. Another shot strikes the leg and it falls forward on its face. The impact sends a cloud of dirt into the cockpit. The mother flexes all her chest and stomach muscles to continue pushing and pulling air into her lungs. The magenta mech lifts itself off the ground and slowly stands to take another step. The center of the back is struck by another round, sending her again to the ground. She can hear her daughter say something. The mother's right eye is still open, still able to see outside her body. The magenta mech pushes itself up with its one arm and begins to crawl. Oh, An enemy approaches and kicks it over onto its back. The mother is met face to face with a cannon aimed at the hole in the chest plate. She wills the magenta mech's hand to push the cannon away and then to cover the cockpit. The arm slowly drops, though. Her vision darkens, and the sounds of the blaring alerts fade. The mother slumps forward in her seat. She's dead. My friends, please use the, the yellow save point to exit the magenta mech. We got that refill. Well, you were I feel like crying, like honestly. The professor spelled Our side failed miserably. went on the Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. Did you the first question was to evade the fucking one. Ours was to be in the head. That hurts me. We got KO'd. 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 Were you literally looking for me? We got our KO'd out of nowhere. Gather around. The story. Concludes. So, map so we can go take a look at the All right. I hope your world music is turned on high. Listen carefully. Oh no. The grand finale awaits. The daughter opens her eyes slowly. The nightmare has left her head heavy and her mind in a fog. She hangs sideways in the passenger seat, suspended by the belts. 
She calls for her mother and struggles to unbuckle herself, but stops when she sees the nightmare come true in the sky. Far above where the wrecked Magenta Mech lies, the black clouds part and the dark monument shows itself. Its monstrous form is like a growing void devouring reality. Bolts of fire begin to drop everywhere, filling the sky with red. The daughter, unable to free herself, wishes none of this ever happened. She wishes her whole life was just a bad dream. She wishes she was safe with her mother. She shuts her eyes tight and wishes for a place no monsters could ever find. <laughs> oh, we could have used the dream egg. <laughs> the magenta oh, mac shit. vanishes <laughs> in the flames. My friends, please use the gray save point. There we go. Oh, oh shit. See which <laughs> bad ending letter we got today, boys. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. It, it, it is. I now understand so what happens. Oh no. Oh, 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 oh yeah. no. I think, I think we got a bad ending. Get fucked. Not again. Oh, yeah. Get fucked. Yeah, it was a real bad ending. <laughs> Not a bad ending. Oh, boy. I think it's a real Told bad you. ending. Goodness me. My you know, got it. It's it's you were on the Patreon tour? Tag, so I was like, our team, we only got the phase two, and, that was, and then we lost immediately after that. Yeah. At least we, we wanted to do a tag, world but... Die. It's so sad that the pilot had to die of ligma. <laughs> Another worldly tree sits bathed under shifting blue light. The girl opens her eyes and is finally not met with fire, but complete silence. She manages to unbuckle her seatbelt and crawls over to the pilot seat. She puts her little hand on her mother's shoulder and shakes her gently. Mama, she speaks meekly. Mama, Mama, wake up. The little girl crawls into her mother's lap and holds her, but there's no response. Mama. Mama, wake up. Mama? 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 She weeps for an answer. But no one would hear her cries. Not here. Beneath this ocean distortion. Not ever. Welcome to the neutral ending of the pilot. Oh, the neutral? This, this, is, the new this, is, the this is the neutral ending? What the hell? This is the neutral ending. What? That was that just my reaction. Yes. Well, as far as the bad ending, the bad ending would have been. Yeah, the, the, the seat is slightly a bit reaction. tilted. <laughs> Or on the left. I don't know.
could see it. Unless there wasn't. Actually, no, the bad ending might be where the daughter gets it. actually taken by the military and no. there forced to work with steel There could be multiple bad endings. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. There could be multiple good endings, multiple bad endings. I'm kind of tempted endings. to learn yeah. what a bad yeah. ending yeah. is before a good ending. ending. There's lots yeah. of yeah. usual and bad endings. Well, there's a thing about that. Oh, it's all welcome to you. I disagree. Dude, honestly, if we would have attacked me the first chance we got, we could have easily taken those three guys or two guys. That's fine, it just needs to get charged. We could have easily took them out. Yeah, this is literally the fastest uh, robot the control is not the actual thing itself. Oh, just get a trap strap We didn't kill a single one. Uh, you one. know what? <laughs> to, be, to be honest, <laughs> I just got it today, so. Maybe I'll. Uh, what do you do? Track, 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 track. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you the, the bomb had a heart attack. So, uh, mm -hmm. so. Oh, no. what I do when I'm like that? Yeah. Yeah. Do you see a heart attack medicine? No, we just call, we took the painkillers. We here for a little while. No, no. The painkillers turned into I should definitely get a potion. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I just really, I 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 really,
Those $3 are less than what you would pay for a game for a whole year. Your money will help us to continue to do what we do, to commission 3D worlds like this, and to further our projects and to become bigger. My friends, if you join our Patreon, it also grants you access to play NPCs in our tours, like the Dream Eaters in Nightmare 1 and 2. Those will be open the next tour. Joining the Patreon will also grant you access to all the weird, really, really weird stuff on our Patreon. And will also <laughs> grant you access to the CWT. Sounds like my kind of Patreon. The CWT is the community written tour. It is a writing project, a Google shared document that the community focuses on together to create a tour that us tour guides will perform once completed. The community writes in it together all in equal parts. And if you join the Patreon, you will have equal parts as everyone else to write in the tour. It is not finished, and we need more people. If you join the Patreon for $3 a month, you can write in the community written tour every month, and you can be a part of our history. My friends, let me be clear. I, I think, I truly believe, the CWT is going to be the greatest tour that we ever give. Well then, my friends... We will drop a portal shortly. Ah, oh, yes, the Discord. One more thing. For those of you that are new here, there is one thing that you must do, that we beg you to do. Our tours are free, and you can always join for free and bring your friends. But please, join our Discord. Our Discord ID is my status in the VR chat. Add me, Trajim or Rendizo in VR chat as a friend, and you can see our status. Please then join our Discord. The Discord is the way that you can join our tours and that you can understand what's going on. We ask as a thank you for going on tonight's tour that you post the photos or the comments in the Discord. Well then, friends, my sincerest apologies. I'm out of breath. The floor is yours. Group photo. I can't. Uh, small so, 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 how could you? <laughs> How could you say that? What are we doing? So we just stay over here. Uh, uh, Nick's going to get Where's the camera? I can be on top of you. Wait a second. Yeah, where am I looking? Oh, yeah, where's the camera? Off right now. Is there somebody who can take a photo for us remotely? Geo's taking it. <laughs> Nobody knows who's taking the photo. Geo, Geo, where's the camera? Oh, oh, we have someone coming in. To it. <laughs> Yeah, he DC. Oh, he Green Grunt's about to do. Oh, okay. Green so, uh, Grunt, I got you. I'll be back up too. Green Grunt has it. <laughs> and letter. Oh, oh, and letter oh, oh. Z. Okay, Grunt, I got this angle. Uh, all right, I got now, everyone. Top all right. Okay. Baba boy. Baba boy. All right. What are we yeah. saying on, on three? three. three. Everybody yeah. saying death and destruction. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Why can I not move Death and destruction. Death and destruction. Great.
Death and destruction. Hey boy, destruction in the chat, please. I got three. Thank you. Got it. Okay, cool, everyone. That was very, very good. Very good. Has the photo been taken yet? Yeah, the photo.